four Nigerian teenagers hijacked a plane that was going from Lagos. Hey, oh my, don't bust oh. When I hear the story of four Nigerian boys we hijacked plane for 1993. Oh my, see that kind of thing happen for this country oh. We are making our watch this video, making our share on our thought. Hey, those boys get mad oh. On the 25th of October 1993, four Nigerian teenagers hijacked a plane that was going from Lagos to Abuja. Their initial plan was to take the plane to Germany to get more media attention, but of course, the foil wasn't going to be enough. So, they diverted the plane to Niger Republic and stopped there. The Vice President of China and about 30 Nigerian government officials were on that plane. Mad stuff. They hijacked the plane with toy guns. Bro! Their reason for hijacking the plane was to force the Nigerian government to return Abiola's stolen mandates. Remember June 12th, right? So Abiola won the 1993 election, but it was annulled by General Babangida. So the hijack was more of a protest than terrorism. When the plane was about to land in Abuja, they went to the cockpit and threatened the pilots with their toy guns. They also poured petrol in the plane to make the passengers afraid. Within a few hours, the whole world knew what was happening. Then negotiations started between the hijackers and the governments of Niger and Nigeria. Um, the vice president of China was later released alongside 126 other passengers. Meet the teenage hijackers, the OGs, Richard, Kabir, Kenny, and Bennett. So, on the third day of the hijack, soldiers disguised as people who were bringing food for the hostages. And that was the end. They were arrested, one was shot, but he didn't die, and they were all kept in jail for nine good years. The soldiers got information that the hijackers were young boys with no military training, so they entered the plane. Richard, who is believed to be the leader, was shot on his leg, and they were all arrested, and they were kept in a prison in Niger Republic. Meanwhile, back in Nigeria, Richard's father was arrested and detained for 70 days. Which is crazy. When the father was released, him and other parents of the hijackers went around meeting prominent Nigerians to beg and appeal for the boys to not be returned to Nigeria because General Sani Abacha was now the head of state and he was a brutal dictator who could have ordered for the execution. So, the boys stayed in Niger for their safety. They were not taken to court, they were not charged, they were just kept in prison for nine years. While in prison, Richard was organizing tutorials for his fellow inmates which made him very popular and well loved in the prison until they were released in 2002 after Nigeria had returned to democracy. This is a picture of Richard from 2019. Life has not really been a bed of roses for him. The other three went back to Niger Republic. Basically, they were abandoned. They were not treated like heroes of democracy. Do you still think they are heroes and was he worth it?